This window air conditioner doesn't blow cold anymore. Uh, it's, it's a window air conditioner, but I installed it through the wall. And it's been great for a lot of years, but it's pretty much just worn out. So I'm going to replace it with this unit. They're different sizes. It's close, but it's this one's a little taller. So I'm going to have to take that apart and open up the hole a little bit more for this one. This is what it looks like on the outside. So I need to remove it out of the wall. I'm going to have to take the trim out and then work it out of there and then see how to enlarge the hole to fit the other unit. I've got the trim removed from the inside. Now I'm going to go remove the trim from the outside. All right, I've got the trim removed from around here. And now I can slide it out of that. All right, I slid it all the way in as far as I could this way, and I'll go pull it out from the other side. You can see it's sticking out pretty far. So now I just have to slide it the rest of the way out of the wall. Okay. I got it out of there. You can see that's the hole. So the opening is a little more than 18, maybe 18 and 5 eighths wide. And then it's about 12 and a half or so tall. It's right around four and a half. This is the unit. It is about 12 inches on the case, and then it has these little feet. As far as the width of it, it's about 18 and a half. So it might just fit, and then the wall's four and a half inches thick so it'll come to there I'll have to remove those feet but it doesn't reach down to this first bend out so I think this is going to be really close to fitting into the existing hole I'll have to remove these two little extensions on here to get these off, you just bend them out, and then when you work them back and forth like this, up and down, you can see it gets looser and looser until it just pops right off. I think it's a couple of little, you can see there's three little spot welds on here that was holding it on. And I can clean that up, but it comes off cleanly. Well, I pushed it through the hole, and it seems to fit perfectly. I took off the front panel because of this cord with the front panel on sticks down to here. Now that I have it through the hole, the cord can hang down all it wants to. And it fits in that hole without any modification at all. I'll show you what it looks like around the back. This is what it looks like around the back. You can see the wall isn't covering up any of the vents. It's got the vents clear on all sides. The roof covers it so rain won't drip on it. And it seems to fit perfectly. I put the front plate back on. So here's how it looks without the trim yet. But it fit through there easily. And the cord comes out, has plenty of room. It just plugs in in the outlet up there. So I think that's going to work. It came with foam that you can put in the cracks along the top and the bottom to seal those. I've got the trim on. I'm ready to plug it in and try it out. There it is with the trim on the outside. Fits perfect, works like a champ. This is the sound on low. Here's the sound on medium. Here's the sound on high. So Gives you some idea. It has 
a timer feature. It's got different modes you can select, cool or fan, and so on. It reads out the temperature on there. You can change the fan speed. It even gives you a little indicator if the filter needs to be clean. So far it seems to work really well. It's slower, but I think that means it's going to put out a lot of cold air. One other feature of this, it has a button called LED. Watch what happens when I push LED. It turns off all the lights on the front panel. So if you're trying to sleep in your room and you don't want those to show up, then you push it again and they come back on. It's kind of a neat feature. So this is the app that, can, that you can download to use with this. You can see it shows, I've got it all set up. I call this air conditioner shop. You can turn it on. You see it comes on. And then when you open up shop, it gives you this dial so I can set the temperature to whatever I want it to be. And you can see it changes. All those lights look like they're flashing, but they don't do that to your eyes. So you can change that. You can change all the settings for it. Fan speed, sleep, all that kind of thing from anywhere you are. And then you can turn it off. So it's app controlled, which is pretty cool.